Hello, a few of my dear friends. Hello from the beautiful Madeira Beach. I wish it was Portugal, but it is America. Just wanted to complete my evening fasting experience and post the promised the remaining 11 benefits of fasting. Of course, there's going to be more. Look at those beautiful seashells. One of the major ones I find is your restoration of circadian rhythm, which is so important for all your body processes. When you're fasting, you naturally want to go to sleep with the sunset, and you want to wake up with the sunrise. Your body resets the rhythm, and you know that all those super important restoration processes are considerably more effective before midnight. So any hour of sleep that you can get before midnight is worth three hours of sleep after midnight. Plus and minus, of course, we are working on our biological clock in maybe about an hour or so. lesson for those of us that have been hurt and bruised and for so much injustice, especially in this country, to return and transmit that energy and change it to energy of love, positivity, kindness, and response to get off that wheel of karma The wisdom of today. As far as my post fasting advice, I recommend clear broth soups. I just boil water, add some Russian dumplings, a few vegetables, like you can use Costco frozen vegetables, just have a clear broth to start recovering from your fasting. No matter what you eat, do not overeat, as it can damage the digestive system. Please be careful with sugars. They are the most quickest way to age and die prematurely. So please be low on the sugars and even insulin raising drinks such as diet sodas or diet sport drinks. You may think they're not giving you calories, but they're raising your insulin. So creating fat storage in the hungry. That's about it for fasting. I have also posted some videos in the previous years that you can watch and learn from and please post your comments. Overall, there are so many medical, biological benefits, spiritual benefits to fasting that are way beyond and above weight loss. So I find that it's very beneficial for your body to do it on a regular basis and then when you're not fasting just keep your eating in a window like maybe between lunch and 6 p.m. that's what I try to do no wonder French have the dejeuner is lunch de fasting means 
fasting, Jesus Nazi fasting. That's lunch, 12 o'clock noon. They do have a petit déjeuner, a little de fasting for breakfast. But I guess that's something that the, mostly children and those intolerant of fasting do. French people have a wonderful culture that allows them to take a break from work, go home in the middle of the day, whether you work at maybe home or some factory or a law office, they value their personal time before corporate culture. And they would take a break, go home or a restaurant and enjoy their dejeuner, their defasting lunch time. And then you enjoy and focus and relax and have positive thoughts when you're eating. That is a lot more beneficial to your body when just quick constant snacking that we do here in America as people are just engulfed in that game, that illusion, that matrix of being busy in that activity that means absolutely nothing and then they die. So hopefully this would help you concentrate on values that are more eternal and timeless and get out of that red race. This was Anastasia, wishing you all a good day, good life, and I will see you all in the next life. Au revoir and do Namaste.